Hello there, Geminis. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Um, first off, in your love relationship sector, I feel like for many of you, um, you're either in a committed relationship and things are going really, really well. And in that case, I feel like you don't really need to be watching this. And for others of you, I feel like you're, you have somebody that you, you are really crushing on and it's, it's crushing on someone hard. Okay. Um, and you're, I feel like it might be a friend, a coworker, a colleague, or somebody that you are really, really eyeing and you, you're just madly in love with them. You want to explore the relationship and take the relationship to the next level. And, um, I feel like there are a lot of, um, anxieties regarding that, you know, um, body image issues, um, performance anxiety, um, dealing with intimacy issues. And I feel like that could be going, um, like coming from your partner rather than you, because I feel like you're, you guys are very, very, um, confident for this week at least, but you guys are very confident, but the, the anxieties and the performance issues and, you know, all of that body image issues, I feel like it might be coming from a partner. Um, but either way, I feel almost like there is a relationship where the, the love and the affection and the chemistry is really, really strong, but it feels like things have not been consummated, right? Like it, it's like you're daydreaming, you're fantasizing about the other person and they can be doing that to you. But I feel like in the real world, it, it's not consummated in the real world. The relationship hasn't even gotten off the ground. It's not really starting yet. And I, I, and I feel like you and the other person might be skirting the issue. Like, yes, you feel the attraction really, really strongly, but no one's, it's like two people beating around the bush, not really talking about, you know, the underlying sexual tension or the current that's running through between the two of you. And I feel like everything is kept on a very platonic level. Everything is kept on a very like uh, nonchalant, oh, I'll catch you another day, even though you can't wait to see them, even though the, the separation, you know, not seeing them the next hour, the next day, really, really... Uh, is detrimental to your emotional well-being because you miss being around them. So I feel like this intense, intense attraction and soul connection that you have with another person, and I feel like communication flows really well between you and them. You work together to build something of higher value, and you work together to build something to achieve a greater purpose. But I feel like maybe you're coming together to achieve that greater purpose and maybe you have to sacrifice the romance in that relationship mainly to maintain you know the, the the sense of like let's just work together let's just be friends so i almost feel like it's a sacrifice you know do we maintain our friendship or do we escalate things to the next level and potentially even lose the friendship if we ever uh, separate from each other or do we stir up the pot in this work environment and you know uh, get involved with each other, even though other people might not approve, even though it might be very contentious on the work front. So I see this element here about, you know, wanting it all, like wanting your cake and eat it too. But it, in reality, and I feel like you've thought about it very carefully, and that's why you're a little bit conflicted about what you need to do. So let me just talk about your energy here. I have here the lovers. This is you daydreaming. This is you kind of like, where's my partner? Where's my soulmate? Where's the person that's supposed to be uh, sweeping me off my feet? And this is, um, in reality, I feel like some of you are at a point where you are single and you're dreaming, conjuring, manifesting this person. But majority of you already have somebody in mind. You know, uh, one day this person will come towards me and they're gonna make a move and I, it will be like everything I've dreamed about. And they're gonna sweep me off my feet and we're gonna, you know, ride off into the sunset and, and live happily ever after. And not only that, um, there's a dance here. These are like performers, they're dancers. So I feel like the, the dancing aspect indicates to me like really strong sexual attraction. It's like you're very aware of how the other person looks, how they move, and you're very mesmerized by the way that they, they move their body, the, the way that their, their body is very expressive. So you could be a dancer, you could be a performer, they could be a dancer or a performer. And I also feel like, you know, people who are athletes, people who are athletes, like, um, 
liking the way somebody performs, liking some the way somebody looks, liking the way that somebody moves. Okay, so in perfect, um, I, I feel like symmetry. This is a card that denotes like the the way that you both, you know. So let me just um, use a sports analogy here. I feel like. For example, if you play a team sports with someone, right, and the, the two of you on the court, like either a basketball court, a volleyball court, a football court, whatever it is, tennis court even, if you jive really well with each other, so your Mars signify how you move, how you react, how you um, carry yourself, right? If your Mars and their Mars um, makes a really good aspect it means that on the court you're not going to bump into them they're not going to step on your toes they're not going to accidentally throw and hit you and you likewise are not going to you know um, throw anything at them or hit them by accident so when you jive really well as a uh, dancer with each other if you dance together if you jive really well when you navigate the physical space with one another it denotes that sexually you're going to be very compatible Okay, that's just like the way the Mars energy plays out in our natal chart. If we have that with somebody, we get a lot of work done. We get a lot of things accomplished. And I feel like you have that with, an, with another person. And I feel like you're also imagining and also fantasizing about, okay, if everything is going so well between me and them, the way that we move and the way that we kind of... Um, navigate the physical environment together then sexual chemistry is going to be amazing it's going to be through the roof right when we do get intimate it's going to be like fireworks and and things like that and i feel like that's where you're at right now you're you're fantasizing and the partner that's showing up here we have here the nine of swords and this is like waiting on pins and needles okay the they're also thinking the same thing but i feel like They've got a little bit of a pot belly. They've got a little bit of a, you know, excess weight that they, I, I'm, I'm sensing like body image issues. This is a person that might be like, no, let's not in, get intimate yet. It's too early. And you might feel like, what's the matter? Why are they, you know, pushing me away when everything is going really well, when we have great chemistry. And I feel like they might have some anxieties. They might have confidence issues, self-esteem issues, body image issues, performance anxiety, and that you're not really aware of, okay? So I feel like this is an extra, um, it's, it's, it's a touchy topic. And if you're dealing with this, you need to be a little bit careful and, and be extra, extra supportive and sensitive. So if they're telling you these things, you know, even if you don't agree with it, even if you don't understand it, just be like, okay, then um, I'll wait till you're ready. Okay, make sure that it is on their time. Make sure that they're doing things to get their act in order. And then I also feel for some of you, there might be as well like a, an intimate or a physical estrangement between you and a lover where because of self-esteem body image issue it could be you know like you've been married for some time and they're not feeling um amorous towards you and they're not feeling like they're at their best so that can be coming through in the relationship i feel like for those of you who are coupled what i have here is the four of wands um this is a, a stable card, a stable marriage, happy home, and you know the kids are doing well. the The family unit is uh, thriving, and also this is the expansion of the family unit. So maybe more kids being brought into the picture, or talks about parenting, talks about pregnancy, talks about you know incorporating even in laws uh, coming in to live with us. So I feel like this is like building things, building wealth, generating wealth, and having a really stable home life. And then for others who are, you know, once again, dealing with this concept, you have somebody, possibly a fire sign. So I have here Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This is somebody who might be, um, who's like very, very easily excitable. Okay, they have like a gazillion ideas. They're quite adventurous. They're here today, gone tomorrow. They can make conversation with anybody. And they are, um, they're, they're getting some type of message when it comes to work projects, when it comes to career paths, when it comes to, you know, getting things started on their end. And I feel like they're coming in to thank you for everything that you've done to allow this process to happen for them. 
So they're very, very grateful for all the work, all the contributions that you have um, given to them or you have, you know, bestowed upon them. I also feel this is a, a major barrier that is coming through between you and a love partner. This is a card about friendship, okay? Uh, wanting to take things to the next level, but we have such a great rapport here. We're working together. Communication is flowing really well. Everything is simple. We're on the same page. If we were to kind of rock the boat a little bit and escalate it to a relationship, even though, you know, it, it's, it could also denote like same sex uh, relationships, but I feel like it doesn't really matter. These cards are gender neutral. So even if it's a man, it could be a woman, but it doesn't really matter. I feel like with the Three of Pentacles, two people who might have met in a work environment and are not now friends or who have a lot in common and who have like the same values, the same hobbies. And it's a really strong friendship vibe that I'm getting here between two people. And as a result of it, you have a natural affinity towards one another. You have great chemistry with each other. You work well together. And so taking this from a very physical space into more of the fantasy, the lustful type of a stage, I feel like it's a big quantum leap for many of you and it can feel very scary. And I also feel for some of you, you have a few friends here that are going to be making, you know, offers towards you as well. And it's going to come out of the blue and it's going to feel a little bit like you're going to be caught off guard. Okay. So for singles, love offers, and I especially see fire signs, um, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Um, for others of you, I feel like, you know, you, you have friends coming in, um, making offers no matter what, even if you're, you're coupled up. But I feel like for some of you in committed relationships, you're trying to find ways to spice up the relationship. You're trying to find ways to kind of make your partner a little bit more receptive to new ideas, new ways of doing things in the bedroom. And you're trying to find ways to kind of uh, tell your partner, you're still beautiful in my eyes. I still uh, find you attractive. I still find you desirable. And that's where your focus really should be to towards like uh, reassuring a relationship partner that, you know, you, you still are invested in them. And then I feel like for singles, um, a lot of options, you might be dealing with somebody who has body image issues and that might be why they're taking so long. Okay. I keep seeing like performance issues and I'm not going to go into too many details, you know, that can manifest in different ways, but, um, I feel that and I feel like there might be an age gap as well. So that might be why there are um, insecurities. Okay. So somebody might be older and they're just like, I don't know if I still look good. And then somebody might be younger who's like all hot headed and doesn't really care. And so I feel like those are things that need to be kind of calibrated and worked out in your existing relationship. Um, I have your spiritual advice coming through in the second spread. And um, what I feel, though, is um, at work, be very, very careful about keeping your ideas close to your chest, okay? I feel like there are um, people working behind the scenes, possibly your supervisor, your bosses, your director. I, I see like a multitude of people um, pulling strings behind the scenes to try to make things happen and I feel like you're kind of kept in the dark okay so that's the first thing and it showed up here with the three of pentacles so building something of greater value and I feel like these are people pulling strings behind the scenes because we have the seven of swords which is like things that are um, talked about that are done behind the scenes but not you know seeing the light of day or things that are talked about but they're not brought out into the public sphere as well as the hermit, which means that you're going to have to do some digging in order for you to figure these things out. And I also feel like, you know, the sword energy is your energy. So it's telling you to be very, very careful to, to cover your tracks. If you are leaving early, cover your tracks. If you're coming in late, cover your tracks and, and document these things, or at least, you know, have a reason have a reason just in the back of your mind. What am I going to say when I'm confronted with these things? If you are in any way doing anything that you're not supposed to, just be very careful about, you know, people digging into your history or people. I see like investigations 
financial investigators, people who are looking at your financial transactions. They're looking at your business licenses. They're looking at your business practices. They're looking at your, your supervisory skills or managerial skills. They're looking at, um, they're looking at like uh, files, portfolios, and possibly auditing them, okay? Um, the first card we have here is the High Priestess, and this is kind of like the unveiling process, okay? Things being revealed, and I feel like things are being revealed in a way where it's like, if in the past, things have been very, uh, like, not transparent, you know, very opaque, like, not transparent and, and confusing, and especially you don't even know who's pulling the strings, you don't even know whose side you're on. I feel like everything is going to be made very, very clear for this week, and I feel like with information coming to light and with people possibly being weaned out of the work environment because of some uh, unscrupulous dealings that they've been... Um, hiding it's going to come to the light of day because somebody is coming in to do some type of investigation so i feel like there will be things unearthed secrets coming to light and it's going to feel a little bit dramatic okay in other areas of your life and i feel specifically in the work front career work and even with family members um if so and so has been you know if uncle joe god forbid has been stepping out on his relationship partner i feel like it's going to unfold almost like a soap opera you're going to, you know, see it happen in little stages here and there. And I feel like it's going to be like a novella. And if, you know, so-and-so has been like cheating on their tax forms, then you're going to start to see it unravel and you're going to start to see it kind of um, unfurl. Okay, so if this is not happening to you, um, I feel like it's going to be, you're, you're going to catch it with people around you. But make sure this is not something that's happening to you. So make sure you cover your tracks. Okay, Gemini, I'm going to leave it at that. And I feel like, you know, hopefully you catch this reading early on and you can still cover your tracks, but whatever. Um, take care of yourself. Okay, Geminis. And um, I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope the reading resonates. I hope it is still helpful. And either way, take care of yourself and I'll be back next week. Bye bye.